Okay, so this is a more advanced tutorial. So we're getting into some big stuff, some great stuff. This is partial moveset swapping. And this is kind of like part one of the next tutorial I'm going to make, which is using Project Smash Attacks in conjunction with Brawlbox. And that tutorial will actually continue off from this one. So, first things first, open up Brawlbox. Open up Brawlbox again. Okay, so what we're going to do is because the best way out of the things I've tried to actually use in conjunction with Smash Attacks is to give someone a Falcon Punch. Who's not Captain Falcon? So, first things first, open up Captain Falcon pack motion, because we need this animation. Next, open up someone delicious, like Mario, because that's who I tried it on originally. Remember, in the motion is where the animations are. Animation data, animations are in there. And the first one is where what we're going to be switching is. Go down, and if you don't recognize any of these names, you should watch my Project Smash Attacks tutorials, because they are very similar. And in fact, they're the same. So, special N, which is neutral special, is obviously Falcon's Falcon Punch. Let's go down and find Mario's neutral B, which is his Fireball. So, export the Falcon Punch. Export it somewhere you'll remember. Replace with special N. Now if you look at it, it's the Falcon Punch. Now you can do all sorts of things if you want, but really that's it. It's very basic. You can go in here, this is the dark, and in here there's some stuff. If you want to make sure, it's always good to uh, switch everything, unless it starts getting weird, like uh, like, okay, Falcon doesn't have this, so you can't switch it, right? Because in here it's just Spy Cloak. Which, I don't know what that is. I haven't figured it out yet. But, if you want, what you can do is open up Etc. Open up Etc. And the model... Uh... Oh, right, because that's in his dot pack. So if you actually want the fire effect, you're going to have to add that to Mario's dot pack. And that's really not switching animations. That's just finishing it off. And I might make a third tutorial link for this called uh, Cleaning Up Your Animation. But you can see how easy that is. And I'll make the demonstration and I'll link it to this in the description and I'll get to work on using this in conjunction with Project Smash Attacks. So I hope you enjoyed and found some possibilities for this. Thanks a lot for watching.